if you've ac ever accidentally left your uh, uh, receiver on or your battery plugged into your electric RC car and you've killed your LiPo battery, there's a way to fix it. I'm going to show you on a smaller scale, but the principle is the same. Um, you apply voltage to the battery while monitoring the battery voltage to give it that jump start so the LiPo charger will see it as a viable LiPo and charge it accordingly. We've saved, well I, this is the third battery I've saved like that. A friend of mine keeps leaving his stuff plugged in. Killing his LiPo. I mean we're talking dead flat, zero LiPo power, zero volts in a LiPo battery, three cell. And we've saved them and he's still using them. He's used them all summer. So without further ado, I'll show you how, to, how I did it. All right, just to show you what I've done, I'm using my Profit Plus LCD nickel metal hydrate charger to charge, jump start, the little LiPo battery. Now, you can see what I've done is I've wired it both to a cell meter and the charger. Now, when I plug it in, it should beep, and then we'll set the charge rate this is a 200 milliamp hour battery. We'll set the charge rate to 0.2 amps on a fast charge and monitor the voltage coming out of the cell checker. If everything goes all right, we should be okay. If not, you're gonna get a show. This is a, a fireproof plumbing cloth. So hopefully when it goes, it's not gonna hurt too much. Let me turn the camera a little bit here and freaking uh, get this stupid camera stand. Cheap camera stand. Okay, here we go. Here's the negative. And hook it up to the to the little lipo. Oh. Okay, we're not showing a voltage on here yet. So let's go ahead and hit fast charge. Let me get that out of the way here a little bit. Make sure you got a good shot of that battery in case it goes. 200 milliamp hour. Turn the charge rate all the way down on the charger and hit fast charge. Showing cell number one at 4.11 volts, 3.99, 3 3.99, 4.07, 4.07, 4.12. Wow. That's as low as the charge rate will go. Two milliamp hour. We'll let it we'll let it sit there for a bit and monitor the voltage. You can see that or not. Four point one zero, four point oh nine, four point oh nine. Now, if it's doing what it's supposed to, when I unplug this, it should keep voltage. Oh, look at that! I've just jump started that lipo battery. It is now showing four point one three volts. So now all I got to do is wire it back into the little boat and see if the charger will charge it. Okay, I've twisted the wires back on to the little boat and uh, we'll see if it powers up 
Because it was dead flat before. I mean, we're talking dead flat. Just control for the boat. Look at that. Look at that. It's powered up. Control. Oh, wow. Not very strong. But I'll see now if it takes a charge. Taking a charge. Green lights on. Wouldn't do anything before. Well, I guess that's how you save a lipo. Force charge it, keeping track of the voltage. I'm sure on a larger lipo, the voltage would be lower as you're putting it in, but there's the boat. With a saved battery in it. Get the control. Ha! Not real powerful. The battery wasn't completely completely charged, but it works. <laughs> it's great. Thanks for watching.